hello there beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Ura, and on this channel i share my experiences as a foreigner living in china in this episode i will be taking you along with me to walmart where i do my monthly groceries since the chinese government announced that there might be food shortages owing to the winter and potential lockdown i decided to stock up on all essentials i don't know what it is about charlie's that brings out the little kid in me i think that the food shortages have started because usually when you come like it's all stacked up but it looks like people probably have been stocking up on their stuff This time around, Walmart shelves were emptier than usual, um, especially in the essentials sections, which shows that a lot of people have already started stockpiling their groceries. As many of you may know, this is my favorite section because I love red wine but I don't like dry red wine I've never tried this, I kind of feel like it's probably going to be dry So right now we're in the rice wine section I just picked one bottle but like all of them are uh, rice wine i think it's only common in china to drink rice wine and it's like really really potent alcohol like for example this one is 52 percent it gets you so hammered i've tried this before and like nah it's not for the week eh? it's not for the week. I made my way to the dried food section and you won't believe what I found. For all my Zimbabweans, Walmart sells Amadimba. They sell Kapenta, guys. Now, this is the meat section. Walmart sells a variety of meats. Everything is so affordable, which is something that I really love. Um, like this hake that I was picking up, each pack was going for about six or seven yuan, which is equivalent to about one US dollar, which is a bargain if you ask me. I found out that they also sell live prawns. I've never seen them live. They're always packaged when I buy them. So honestly, I was just curious. Um, I tried to take some out and one almost jumped out of the water and I got the fright of my life. I think this section is best for people who want their food fresh and not frozen. Personally, I wouldn't buy any of this fresh because I wouldn't know how to prepare crabs or oysters. If you watched my previous video, you know I tried snails, but seeing them alive made me feel so gross. It made the hairs on the back of my neck stand out and I can't believe that I actually tried them. Oh my gosh. And just when you think you've seen it all, you see the most bizarre thing you'll ever see in a supermarket. Frogs. Walmart China sells fresh frogs and fresh tortoises. Coming from an African country, I find this really weird and creepy, but hey guys, to each his own.
The frogs were selling for an equivalent of 5 US dollars per kilo for anyone who might be interested in trying them out one day. <laughs> They were also selling crabs. I thought that they were dead, but when I looked down, I saw that it was actually looking at me. They're tied up in that way and they're alive. I don't know. It's just really weird. After I'd bought everything that was on my list, I made my way to the self-payment counter. It's a very efficient way of paying for your groceries. You scan a QR code and then you go ahead and scan all your groceries by yourself and then you go ahead and pay the total balance. It's really easy. The groceries I bought should last me for at least six weeks. And just as a reminder to everybody, please stay safe, protect yourselves, protect your loved ones. And don't forget to give thanks to God for the gift of life that we're still here, we're still alive, we're still healthy. And it is truly a blessing to see each and every new day that comes. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe. To my returning subscribers, I really appreciate you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. Anyway, guys, much love. Be safe. Bye.